Hi guys, welcome to the video. First of all, uh, English is not my primary language, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna make a chip tuning of this car. It's a Volkswagen Passat 2.0 uh, engine. Engine count is uh, BKP. It is an uh, 140 uh, PS uh, horsepower uh, car and we're gonna make it uh, to 170 horsepower. This is stage one tuning. So I'm gonna show you all the steps. We're gonna use uh, Galetto for this job. FG Tech Galetto. Um, so let's start. First of all, we need to um, hook up the, the battery charger because it's it's uh, often take a long time uh, for the for this all to go through and uh, the battery may may uh, drop the voltage and when the voltage is dropped uh, we have a problem so let's hook it up okay so the car is on the charger constantly charging make sure that the battery will not uh, die on us so the first step now is to check uh, the car if everything is okay with the engine for that i use uh, for uh, volkswagen i use vcds as a diagnostic tool and we will check the car now so vcds is plugged in we have read the car the car is absolutely okay no faults at all and most of all there are no faults in the engine ECU at that point you should remember this the ID of the ECU so here's the Volkswagen number and here's the type of the ECU that tells me it's a PPD 1.5 this is a CMOS, a Siemens ECU. It's not Bosch or something like that. And this is an important information for the tuning process. Okay, so let's hook up the uh, Galetto now and start reading uh, the map. So what is important at that stage is the cable so this is the USB cable going to the computer and this this is the cable that do do not come with the Galetto original this is a power supply supply cable just a moment going to uh, the cigarette lighter and this is the external power for the Galetto so as soon as I make the ignition You see, Galetto is getting power, and this cable is very important. Always use the external uh, cable to power up the Galetto. Okay, so this is the first page of the Galetto, and we will search for the car now. Uh, okay, first we check the language to English. Then we're gonna select the driver. We go to car, we go to Volkswagen. Okay, then we choose Passat, obviously. And here we are, here are all the Passats. So we have, a, it's, a, it's a 16 uh, ECU. EDC 60 and here we have Siemens PPD and Siemens PPD CAN so we are going for the K-Line version okay from that point we are going to make contact of the car it's in contact turning off the lights and turn off all what you don't need the radio 
the ventilation system and all those things turn it off so now we are going to read first of all we're gonna decide take ECU data reading now okay we are in so this is the the software number and the hard this is the hardware number of the ECU you see this hardware number and down you can see a type of the ECU so now we're gonna read read the file we go to read file we're gonna choose where to save it so we're gonna choose on a desktop we're gonna make a new folder sorry uh, sorry new folder is stop new folder okay we write um, Passat 2006 BKP okay and we're gonna name the file I always name it uh, I always name uh, Ori for original then I type in the which which tool I used to read Galato uh, and I read it OBD because you can read it OBD you can read it BDM so that I know this is the OBD file okay save start reading okay it's reading so now we just wait for the file to be read uh, important at this stage you can do nothing wrong by reading the car you cannot mess up anything with the ECU or make something not working by reading the car if you choose the wrong information or or anything it will not read you will get an error code and that's it so if it's reading like this it's okay if it's not reading you get an error code but you can make nothing wrong at this at this time it's a different story when you write the car so just in reading it you you are safe okay this is gonna take a long I will stop the video okay just to show you how it looks when the galetto works these two lights flashing constantly okay this is on 93% now here you see how long it takes to read 3 minutes 28 9 and this reading can take up to 20 minutes depends on the car you're doing that's why it's so important to have uh, the battery charged all the time that's really important and here you see um, the battery voltage here you see which car we have selected so now it comes to an end it says end of read turn off the dashboard so we are turning off the dashboard Pressing OK and that's it what I what I always do I always make a picture of the screen because it's sometimes you need the information about the ECU uh, so uh, to make a photo of the screen is the, the easiest way to remember it okay so now let's take a look at the file we can close this one now okay here's our file here we got it stored 
and you can see it's a two it's a two megabyte file so now we're going to use this file to make a remap i will not show you this this is this is very very complicated thing um so if you need any muppet files or something you can contact me and we will uh, and i will try to help you so i will come back when this uh, file is done okay we are back to make the tricky stuff so the map is is done all we need to do is to write it back so let's make contact we are making ECU data sorry for the shaking guys ECU data is ok so you see here we have a message checkpoint computed in writing so you don't don't have you don't need to worry about the checkpoint uh, but the checksum sorry for this uh, I hope you know what the checksum is the checksum is uh, is something that needs to be right for the car to start if the checksum is not right if you modified the file and do not not correct the checksum right uh, then car will not start and you will have a problem it also make break your uh, break your ECU and stuff so be careful with that so we are going to uh, open a file open a file and you see here we got the original map and we got the remap it to stage one we choose the remap it open it okay so now at this side just a moment you see the checksum of the map the checksum is now different as from the or original because it's remapped okay now the only thing we need to do is to write a file Okay, you see writing ECU, writing initialization. You have to wait. Sometimes it can take a long time. Okay. We got it right. So at this point you see it's a red marker. At this point the original flash is gone. So when we get interrupted at this time, the ECU is empty and the car will not start. So we got to be really careful with that. And this is the time to get nervous. If you see, we got some lights on the dashboard now. This is, this is normal is because the ECU is now in write mode and uh, obviously um, uh, ABS cannot work uh, park brake cannot work this thing's uh, signals coming f out from ECU so now you see it's writing so now we just have to wait and hope everything gets okay we are on 17% that's good for now okay I will come back when it's near end okay so we got 96% so far everything is okay let's just wait till it comes to the end okay it's finished so turn the dashboard off you see we got all the lights dashboard off uh, 
and we can press OK. Says wait. Turn the dashboard on. Dashboard is on. See the lights. Okay, the lights are gone. So everything looks okay for now. We press okay. Okay, so now let me remove all the stuff and then we will try to start the car. Okay, so the stuff is removed. Let's try to start the car. Car is starting. So everything's okay. Looking good. Quick response. So I will go for a test drive now. Okay, so I drive the car. It's going good. Everything's okay. File is uh, good made. Car is quicker. Um, I can drive down there show you how the car goes just just a moment I can feel the differences it, it's very very much faster so one hand driving okay so this is the second gear I will put it in third gear leave it like 2000 rpms and now go for it I can feel the difference, it's very much, very quick a car. So, back to the garage. Okay, so we're back at the garage, car is done, waiting for the customer to pick it up. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If it helps you, please subscribe, uh, become my follower, uh, so I can, I will make more of these videos. It all depends on you guys how, how many followers I get uh, so that I can see if this video are being uh, viewed and being interesting for you guys. Uh, so, see you in the next video. This one's done.